Atrial fibrillation is impacting the community in Austin. It puts patients at an increased risk for stroke and other health complications. So here to talk with us this morning is Dr. David Burkhart from the Texas Cardiac Arrhythmic Institute at St. David's Medical Center. Thank you so much for being here today, doctor. Certainly. Good morning. I want to start out by just going over what exactly AFib is. Yeah. Atrial fibrillation is a chaotic rhythm in the top chamber of the heart. Basically, mm -hmm. the top chamber is quivering. And unfortunately, that can lead to clots that occur in the heart since there's not regular blood flow. Uh, and this can result in stroke, one of the more common uh, uh, things that we see in people with atrial fibrillation, unfortunately. Mm. And is it easily diagnosed? Uh, it can be. Unfortunately, some people do have symptoms. that makes it easier. But some people don't. In people who are at risk for stroke and risk for atrial fibrillation, we depend on long-term monitoring to look for these episodes because they're not always continuous. And we can use a monitor like this patch, this uh, ZO patch that we can place on a patient. And patients tend to prefer this because you can shower with it, uh, you can sleep with it, it doesn't require particular changing of any process, mm -hmm. and they can wear it for up to two weeks so we can catch these potentially even very short episodes that wouldn't be caught otherwise. Mm -hmm. And does this monitor their heart pretty much throughout the two yes, weeks? Yes, it, the it? Entire, uh, it entire, uh, monitors the rhythm entirely for two weeks straight. Mm -hmm. So it's not a snapshot of episodes, it's the entire documented rhythm for the entire two weeks. So it really gives you a good idea of what's actually going on there. Yeah. Do you see AFib a lot in our community? Uh, very common, and so we see it certainly just more commonly as we age, mm -hmm. but anyone with any heart problem, we certainly see it more frequently. We see it in people with high blood pressure, diabetes, problems with heart valves, problems with blockages in the heart. So very common, one of the more common things that we treat. Mm -hmm. And is it passed down through genetics as well? Uh, there are some genetic components, but uh, in general, no. It's more, uh, it tends to be more of an issue with just the risk factors of diabetes and high blood pressure, et cetera. Okay, doctor, well, thank you so much for uh, informing us today and uh, definitely something people want to watch out for. Thank you. Appreciate it.